my god. No. Previously. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! Okay, welcome back to Life is Strange. Man. This is the part of Nathan four. Prescott is messed and up it's and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I can't rewind. rewind. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, who got the camera? Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate.
Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Yeah, so Rachel, so took, Rachel my place. took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? She looks super happy. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. This is a hi fi. It won't play without any power. So, where is the power? Mm, ah, right there. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Not this board. Right here. So, so, so sad. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Look at that box. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? Mm. She does love trouble. Money trouble, I guess. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Is this a desk or a storage space? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Chloe and her dad were so close. I'm not into them. Too pretentious.
This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. I broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Mm, we need to rewind, I guess. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. It reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Time to go. Mm, no. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. Downstairs. Hmm. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Nope, someone locked it from the other side. We have text. This is Kate. Okay, thanks again, Max, for helping me. Mm -hmm. A mom. Oh, yeah. My zero principal sent me an, an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell owner student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge. Oh, yeah. Consequences are coming to us. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Shut couch. I look at the stain. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. I guess we we got so busted at this. I should be able to find the tools I need here. <laughs> Time. 
Maybe this... Uh, These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that yeah. camera. They're not so tiny tools. Uh, look at the laptop. No, better up there. Why not switch on? Okay. Should I switch this on? Yeah. Decisions, decisions. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Hmm. I don't think so. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Okay. We'll stop uh, researching. <laughs> Not this time. Nothing. This is so lame. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Oh, oh, oh. So this guy is the stepdad of Chloe. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Seems to be a good shooter. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Bambiphobia. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Where it could be the tiny tools? No. Oh, look at the files, Max. Shit! Butterfingers! Rewind. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Okay, we can. I try wonder again. what's in those files up there. I just take it. If something happen, what is going wrong? We will rewind. Let's go. Oh man. I'll always make them fall. No, no. Oh, sorry. I don't run it. I saw something like a picture. Look at that. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? What the fuck? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Hmm. I'm not so trustful with this Kate. Uh, and neither I am with David. The step that. Okay, rewinding. I 
it would be too easy that they be uh, Chloe's some stepdad kind of is a veteran and a security guard. With uh, I Rachel, must really hate her. Thing is, is too obvious. Is that okay? Take a look at uh, for this tiny. Damn! Tools. It's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. <laughs> if I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. More one before we. Let's get to the kitchen. This year. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. <laughs> Nothing to see. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. And now where are we are going to find the tiny chairs? I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. Oh, sorry. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Okay, time to swing. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? <laughs> Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Okay, just keep us still on it. Let me make a uh, movie time. I guess they're aging, these books. Okay, play it. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. 
And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. I guess we're going to rewind. Because the... Uh, <laughs> the light... The play light. We did nothing. We didn't do it. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Nice picture. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. And this door is closed. Uh, nope. Someone locked it. From, nope. Someone locked it from oh, the sorry, other sorry, side. Sorry. 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 Butterfingers, I have to. Uh, I guess we could go back to the garage. If I took this picture, uh, the deer would be standing on yeah. your ass. Mm. Turn around and. Get back to the garret. Uh, yeah, yeah. Woolen stuff. Ah, oh, tools. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. I get an idea. Turn out the washing machine. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Mm. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Yeah, no trouble. Where are we going? What's the trick game? That was very smart, dumbass. No uh, can reach. What could we do? Look at that. Man, I should have oh, done the that before trick. they fell. I know that trick. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Okay, okay. Okay, push that. And now we turn on the washing machine. Okay, we got it. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Mm -hmm. Nice trick. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Okay. But that will be in the next part of Life is Strange. Richard Grice, I just... Goodbye.